Hello, this is Kevin from Maths Heuristics. In this video, I will be discussing one of the PSLE 2021 questions. So if you are a parent or a student viewing this video before PSLE 2021 is over and you feel that by viewing this video, it's going to affect your morale and confidence for the remaining papers, such as you switch off this video now. If not, I will proceed in 3, 2, 1, start. For this question, Helen and Ivan had the same number of coins. Helen had some 50 cent coins and 64 20 cent coins. Her coins weigh a total of 1.134 kg. Ivan had some 50 cent coins and 104 20 cent coins. Who had a greater amount of money and how much does how much more does the person have? And for part B, if the mass of one of the 50 cent coins is 2.7 grams, heavier than one of the 20 cent coins, how heavy are Ivan's coins? Give your answer in kg. So to deal with this, what we can do is to observe that because they had the same number of coins. Helen's, Helen's number of 50 cent coins and these 64 20 cent coins is going to add up to the same number of coins as Ivan's number of 50 cent coins and 104 20 cent coins. So if you feel that this looks a bit confusing, it's okay. When in doubt, draw it up. You have Helen here and you have Ivan here. All right? They had the same number of coins and it can be represented as follows. Right, give you some time to draw it out first and you will see that they all had 20 cent coins over here okay this is their first so if you are to lay out all the 20 cent coins along this line over here you will see that up to this point After Helen has laid out all her, of her 64 20 cent coins, as does Ivan, from the 65th coin onwards, Helen will lay out the 50 cent coins in a row like this. But Ivan will continue to lay his 20 cent coins. all the way until he has laid out his 104th 20 cent coin. Then from here on, with this remaining portion, they will continue to lay their 50 cent coins. Okay, now in this question, the first unknown is the number of 50 cent coins. And this is where students start to panic over here. Okay, let's solve part A first. Who had a greater amount of money and how much more does the person have? So to deal with this, if we observe where the differences arise, it comes mainly from this portion. Agree? So how many more coins does Helen have than Ivan? That will be how many more 50 cent coins does Helen have than Ivan? That will be 104 minus 64 will give you 40. Okay, then you can see that the difference in the value of one coin It's actually just 30 cents, which means to say that there are 40 of these 30 cent differences, which means to say that Helen will have $12 more than Ivan. Okay, so the answer for part A here will be Helen, and the amount will be. 
shelf all this. Okay. Then as for part B, this is where the second unknown crops up. If the mass of one of the 50 cent coin is 2.7 grams heavier than one of the 20 cent coins, you would feel very tempted to find out the mass of a 50 cent coin as well. Either a 50 cent coin or a 20 cent coin so that you can try to put in numbers to solve it. But over here, we find that we cannot obtain this value. So what do we have to do? We have to see that over here, if this is 1.134 kg, all these coins weigh 1.134 kg. And we know that the difference in mass is 2.7 grams. What we can do is to take the mass in kg and we replace these 50 cent coins with 20 cent coins. He okay, make them the same by replacing all these 50 cent coins, all these 40 50 cent coins with 40 20 cent coins. Right, the mass is going to be reduced by 40 times of 2.7 grams. So 2.7 grams to convert it into kg will be 2.7 divided by 1000. Right? So if we make that replacement this would give us 1.026 kg. Alright, 